Okay. Um, so the, the clip that I just had, um, there is, there is like, I, I wasn't around when it happens. I just was around for like the after effects kind of, um, but I mean, that's not even, there's kind of like a main thing that I want to talk about today, which is, I mean, I guess doesn't have to be unrelated to that, but, uh, there's a lesson of today. Um, man, it like, which is a, a good lesson or I mean, there's a lesson. Um, It's a good lesson. Um, yeah, like I stay developing. God, God's developing me. But, um, but yeah, with the with the Salvation Army thing, like I wasn't there for it. But um, there is a apparently a stabbing that happened, um, and apparently so that. But this is let's still call this hearsay. Um, but a uh, but um. Like, I mean, hopefully stronger details like ours, like, will, I mean, not necessarily for me, but um, will come later. But, but apparently um, the fight, which apparently started inside Salvation Army, like, hopefully there isn't going to be like stuff that gets like mixed up and I, cause I wasn't there. So like, it's just me piecing together, like hearsay and stuff. But to my understanding, the fight like started from inside Salvation Army. Um, and apparently it was over, um, someone raping someone's sister. Um, I've tried to kind of like say here and there, like, I don't know, I, I share, or I guess I do know kind of, but I share things that I hear from people, um, as far as like, just like things about just like whether it's in relation to children type of stuff or just bat like things that people end up sharing or saying and end up sharing them on here. And there's one that I didn't share from like, not, not that I have to share everyone and not that I do end up sharing everyone and not that I, you know, this isn't a perfect journal or something, but, um, there, like last week, I think it would have been last week on the bus. Um, there is someone that like talked about like there, it was a woman. And I think she was saying her maybe nephew, um, went to his, like, I don't know if, I don't know if the nephew was, if, if I'm right about it being a nephew, I don't know if the nephew went to his current girlfriend or ex-girlfriend or whatever the situation was, but he like went to where she was and like, like shot her in the face or something. And I don't know for sure if it was multiple times. I almost want to say it was multiple times, but this is hearsay. It's also been some time, but I think a current significant other or past significant other got shot in the face um, by this woman's maybe nephew or some, something like that. Someone, a, a past or current partner got shot in the face, I think. Um, and then like back in pro maybe in level two, I would guess maybe that, I mean, I don't think it would be in level two. I would think it's in level. I don't think it would be in this level. I think it would be in level two that like the, the dude in the living room, um, the native American dude, like that he had a family member who like, who's, um, like maybe a cousin or something that like died because her significant other killed her like in Fargo and in the world, even it is going to be something that I want to do potentially to like, just show this under reality that people should know to a degree. And there's people that already essentially do this to some degree. Um, maybe even to great degrees. I don't know. 
actually, yeah, like what National National Geographic, like my goodness, like how they they follow like um, human trafficking or like just the, I don't even know how they make that happen or work. So like National Geographic, um, maybe it's on Hulu or something, but like they had like they get into stuff. Like I don't even know how <laughs> like that works. Like. <laughs> Like, 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 bro, have you seen National Geographic's like, um, like what? I don't know what it's, but they have different series though. But there's one that I watch where it's like, they're literally like, they're there, like even talking with the people (laughs) that are doing it. Like, but, and for that kind of thing to happen, I guess there has to be an acceptance of like, this is a, like, there has to be some sort of like acceptance so that you, you know, it's not just like going in and being like, oh, we got to shut this down. But like, just no, um, you know, it might, they, maybe maybe those people even get paid the underworld people or the human trafficker. I don't know, bro. But I mean, there must be some sort of incentive. <laughs> but like but and but the data, the data is valuable. So, <laughs> I mean, goodness, <laughs> like, <I, laughs> bro. National Geographic really be out here. And the thing with Jesusism is like, there's, a, you know, in, in, so like in America and just, I mean, maybe more than America, I don't know, but like, you know, different people have different ideas and it's like, you know, and, but then they'll downplay like schools didn't do this, but like, it, like just downplaying other things and like, or like churches, how there's so many churches, like there'll be one like across the street from each other and they're building their own you know, you could say family or whatever, but there's literally like a church down the street and there's just all these churches and like, and you know, there's different, and then there's different branches of Christianity and like, like whether it's churches or whether it's like, biz, like churches or like ideas, it's just like, even in Mind Valley, it's like, there just is kind of that ego move question mark of like, that bringing up this idea and kind of portraying it as like a dumb idea, like vision from mind Valley, like has done this to some capacity, I think with something, I think I've only taken one quest that was like directly like him. I mean, not directly because it's just virtual and it's not like live and even mine. I mean, and I have been on mind Valley pro calls. I would think I've at least, I would think I've been on a mind Valley pro call or, or maybe more than one that like has had him around. But like it's uh, so I guess I mean, that's still indirect because he's not like talking to me. But like he like if he's live in the same call that I'm in, that's like as maybe as direct as I've gotten. I think that's happened where there's been some live call or live thing for Mind Valley Pro, even though I'd I'm not on, I haven't been on a live one of those for so long. <laughs> like even the so there's one that I talked about in the last video that like the two hour one, that's like not current. I mean. That's not like live. Like I can watch it, but it's not live. And I, I keep like restarting that ish and like only getting so far. But yesterday night, I like actually gave it like attention and got like an hour in. So if I start today, like I'm just going to start, if I do continue today, I'll just start from like an hour. Actually, it was a little bit past an hour. It might have been like, it might have been like an hour and seven minutes or something. But, um, but like besides the current one that, I've, that I'm watching and the last one earlier in this level three, that was like that I referenced from Maria Lorenz. Um, like that wasn't I don't think that was live. I think this is a new function where they let you listen to past ones. Um, but like in level two, there are times that like I listen to live ones um, and I would think. And it, and it would probably be in level two that, uh, cause even, even when I, um, did the first quest that I think I ever did of like a full actual quest, I think, cause, cause before I even had Mind Valley, which, which before I even had Mind Valley and like I was watching these like videos that are just kind of like videos that pop up on my Facebook or, or wherever they would pop up, that's kind of like where you kind of like, um, you know, it's someone talking about whatever. And 
one of the ones that I would have looked at. I don't know. I don't know how many I would have looked at. At least one, but I mean, probably more than one. Like maybe a few or something. I would guess. But one that I remember was like Jeffrey Allen. So the dude that that that, that does duality. Um, that would end up being like the third quest. I think that I did. That's the one that I did before uh, Jim Quick's uh, Super Brain one. But um, like. What like after having Mind Valley and like the first like actual quest that I like fully did, um, that was with Vision, Vision, and it was just like six or seven days or whatever, or six or seven days or so. Um, and that even that I talk about in level two. So essentially, all my essentially my Mind Valley like as far as actually having a membership stuff and taking like quests as a Mind Valley like member or whatnot, you could kind of say. Um, started, um, in level two because I, I, yeah, because in level two, I was talking about like visions, visions, like quest stuff, um, of that six or seven day thing. So like essentially like. So unless it's the case that like I started day one of that fishing quest before uh, before I started the level 200 days, but that might not be the case. I guess I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing I would have started even that first quest when I had already started level two, I would guess. Um, But maybe not. Um, Hopefully I'm not getting sweat on my phone, but I might be. Anyway, 12 minutes into the video. Um, so apparently um, with the Salvation Army thing, it was because appar like apparently one dude raped, like apparently someone raped someone's sister. Um, and like, so this is an action that happened. Um, even though in some people's minds, I'm like, it's not just thoughts, it's actions that have happened in some people's minds. Um, like, there's an underworld reality to stuff. And people that say actions have happened, that's like debatable. Like, I mean, it's not that it's a like 100% no, but yeah, because especially like, well... Like if someone, if it wasn't just me, <laughs> like trying to share my mind and with how weird I am with just how I am with like honesty and how I am with like being uncertain and whatever. Like if there is someone who like literally was around for these and like with like to a degree, I'm extra. <laughs> so with like stuff. So. But um. But so it's debatable. It's debatable um, whether it's actually actions or not. At least at least it's at least touched the physical world with like because I talk about what I described as like sexual energy and like that it guided my steps is how I described it kind of thing. But as far as like actually actions like affecting people. Um, is debatable. And there's even more there's even more like examples of things that I could bring up. Um, like one idea, one thing is that potentially by like video 90 or something like to start, like say like just any like loose ends or things that I want to do before the end of the series or talk about or whatever. Um, so like between 90 and a hundred potentially, um, like to kind of like round things up kind of, touch on things, loose ends of this series or, and or other things. Um, so yeah, you have me talking about thoughts or navigating my mind or putting my thoughts on the internet or what I think are my thoughts or what I feel like I have to say in relation to thoughts or actions or something. But then you have people that... And even and not to not to say that the people that do things like that, like, let's just paint them as an as an absolute villain or something. But like there are actions that happen. 
you can see that like I don't watch the news a lot. I mean, I did this morning and it was about like how good Barbie and uh, Oppenheimer are doing. Um, and some there might have been stuff about Trump and then who knows what else. But um, but like in the news and then also like something that I've thought about, like as far as history, I've maybe had a little some some little thoughts about history, like maybe here and there these last weeks or recently, maybe like, I don't know, maybe it's even beyond these weeks or maybe it's not even multiple things. And it's really just like essentially one, I think there's maybe been like a couple or a few things in either recent weeks or maybe even farther than that. But so you have history, which is like our agreed upon like history, mainstream history. Isn't that an interesting way to think of it? Mainstream history, but like, mainstream history you know there the last i think it was the last time that i was at that and and not that i like have been to woman three's place a lot but like the last time that i was at woman three's place i mentioned like maybe off of me or something potentially but like somehow we got to like that i'm re i was reading um like concise history of the world or that book and then she like just essentially had the idea of like just that history, like not having like that there wasn't legitimacy to history. Like, I don't know to what degree. I don't know if she was just saying like history in general or I don't I guess I don't know what to what like capacity, but she was like challenging history in some capacity. Um but then I mentioned that it was National Geographic. I maybe even showed it to her. I almost, I don't, I, I don't know for sure. Like, I almost feel like I showed it to her, but I might not have. Like, maybe I just, maybe I just like spoke in relation to it. But when she heard about it being National Geographic, like, then she like potentially was thinking there could be legitimacy to it. But, um, like, yeah, she, she like kind of like considered that or kind of, was a little bit more on board, but, um, that's actually kind of right. Like, like, well, not again with like that thing of like egos and ideas of like how we want to like, just push things down and like our way is better or whatever. Like, it's not that there's nothing to history, like mainstream history, like has value. Like, it's not that, you know, it's, it's a cultural trend to like challenge things or downplay things. Like in a sense, Chris, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Like there's an angle of truth to that. Like if I go out and like, but it'd be in relation to people, not like the whole world, you know, that it's not just him that didn't know about, I mean, what would become America question mark? Like, I mean, who sent him on that voyage? Like who, um, sponsored it, so to speak. Like he did discover America for maybe not the world though. Or something like there's an angle of truth to it. But anyway, so it's not that mainstream history, just like 100 percent trash. Maybe it's not 100 percent accurate, but potentially. But like but so there's all these there's all this like and at this I mean, I'm kind of just talking in my own words, like even though I've had like. I mean, I've thought of history like one or two or something times in maybe recent weeks, like even today. Like, cause I was really getting, I was really getting into it on the internet. Like, um, and so I was like looking up stuff and, you know, actually not just being taken places by the internet, even though, I mean, who knows, maybe that happened to some degree, but I was like, actually like intentional, like actually like, yeah, I had different tabs up. Like on one thing I was looking up like stuff about social work and like, um, psychology, which is a major that I have, um, like, I just like, I was actually, yeah. The, and this morning as a whole was just like, man, if you don't fill. So this is, this is, I mean, maybe overlaps with Taoism, but like, just like give your day or your life maybe to God or like, because like, I still haven't been reviewing YouTube videos. So imagine if I like, you know, if I got on like a borderline obsessive point of like, oh, I need to like use time to do this. But like, 
just flowing with this morning. My goodness, like, bro, this morning was just like if we're talking about like in recent videos and in relation to in recent videos of mine, but in relation to that last video um, that I was talking about not too long ago of how I've watched like one hour of it. Um, in, in one of my past viewings, I think I've even gotten, I've maybe gone farther than that, but like, I was probably dozing and like, you know, like, like with last night though, getting to an hour into it, like I was present enough that like, I, like I feel, I think I'd feel okay with continuing from the hour instead of, but I, I've like kept starting over, I think at points, maybe at least once, but probably even more than that. Like I just keep starting over. Um, but, but, um, in that video though, um, it talks about like, think like one thing is like thinking about being rich, not just as far as money. And like this morning I was a millionaire or rich <laughs> in some capacity, like rich, like the, just the morning. And like, you can't have that if you already have a plan for the morning of like, and sometimes you have to have a plan or sometimes you have to be doing stuff, you know, like, I mean, at least I think, I mean, I think you have to have like things at certain points. So like, or me, unless, unless it should be the case that it should not, that it should never be at like a dominant level or something. Cause like, there's going to be times that you like have to do something, but maybe to like allow yourself to still be in full flow, even if, even though you're still mindful of that thing, maybe. But like this morning I was rich, like, excuse me, like it would probably be useful. Um, you know, I might, it might be worth like trying to go through just what I can remember of this morning. Um, but then the challenge or the relevant things as far as like this morning though, and this is where the lesson comes in. There came a point in just, man, bro, this morning was beautiful. Like just like, bro, man, maybe I should even just like, just well, okay. Is there, are there any loose ends that I need to tie up of stuff? I talked about the Salvation Army stuff. Um, I talked about how, like wanting to like turn Fargo upside down or turn the world upside down. And that's kind of like the thing, um, and show these like under realities. And that's kind of in relation to that whole Zoroaster and you series, um, is where is kind of where that might happen or kind of what I've like, that's kind of what Zoroaster and you is, um, or potentially where I would do that. Um, at least these days where I would do that, I think. Um, um, but one thing though, is that like, even if I got like the community's attention or whoever, or the, or who, or the world, whoever's like the community, even if I got someone's attention or like, or the communities or something like, how do you know that people are being honest? Cause like the justice report, like it's not too much exaggeration to say like half of that is off. And not, and, and not in every case, just like little ways that like, don't really matter. Like I've thought of it as, as it, the justice report, I've thought of it in some capacity as like heinous before, like, but that yet are there not people, I, I don't know all of who, but I've at least seen two from two directions. It would seem two directions of people that believe it. Like the one dude that I talked about that I ran into after I got trespassed from the mall, I would think the justice report is what he's talking about. And, you know, maybe he didn't read it in full. Maybe he just gravitated towards the me getting a lot of views or what or whatnot. But like. So, I mean, maybe that shouldn't count as fully believed, but there at least from two directions, there's like. And then, he, I mean, and then even for the nocturnal dude, like, but if he if the person from nocturnal at least like shared it, then like. I mean, there's some type of legitimacy that they're giving that or that they see in that or something. But um, but anyway, if I were to like, you know, ask people of like, you know, what are th hurt? What are th like, how do I trust what people say? So that's that would be one aspect that. uh, As far as like trying to get data on. 
the under reality or just things that have happened to people or or hurts or or whatever it would or like I guess I mean hurts it it is like like under under reality stuff is like hurts is kind of like maybe what it should be seen as potentially like if that's not the main way that I've thought of it or could see it like that's maybe I mean there's truth as far as like looking at it as hurts if I haven't thought of it that way, but I probably, I mean, I would think I have in the past, but I don't know. Something seems like when I, something seems like that may not be on point in a way, but if I haven't thought of it as far as hurts, which I think I have, like hurts is maybe even, I don't know if it's the best way to, to describe like what I'd want to like summon from under the surface, but it's, That's an angle of truth. Um, let's see. So what else? Um, oh, okay. But the, so the lesson though, um, is that like, so after this, like, you know, this morning that included like a walk to the day labor place and then like handing in my ticket and then leaving from there and walking back and just stuff in that walk. Um, so, okay, I guess maybe let's get into, so, um, and hopefully I can just touch on the different stuff and not go into like rabbit holes of conversation, but I mean, maybe that's what end up happening, but hypothetically, it'd be nice to just like touch on parts of the morning to kind of like, and kind of like illustrate stuff, but let's see. So wake up, um, go pee, (laughs) um, I tried to talk about like an interaction that happened yesterday, but I don't think it actually like got recorded. Um, I don't know how many minutes I was talking that didn't get recorded in yesterday's video. It shouldn't be like too crazy, but I mean, it could even be 10 minutes or something for all I know. Um, Okay, but so anyway, so but um, as far as today, went and peed. started going to the day labor place um last night so i have this playlist that's called uh what is it called a new level or another level or something so it's like music that's like on another level so it's it's maybe called another level so i think and it might be public so i you might be able to get access to it but it might be tricky because like but i think it's called like another level or something and um i tried to listen to one of these songs last night, maybe like, maybe through the playlist. Like I didn't like, I don't think I like looked up the playlist or something like, in fact, why was I, how did I even, maybe, I don't know, maybe I was on like my own like stuff, like my own home thing or page or something of myself on lay down and dream. And so maybe like there was like a play, like a playlist tab, maybe, and maybe that's there was a song that I was interested in that was there, and I, somehow, <laughs> somehow I like listened was listening to this song called uh, like Little Apple by Chopstick Brothers. Like I was trying to listen to it, um, I was sleepy, so I like I don't know if I listened to the whole song, um, but I at least listened to part of it, I believe, and so I just like went to bed. Um, but this morning, after peeing or whatever, and walking to the day labor place. Um, on my phone, like I'm on this another level or whatnot playlist and it's halfway through Eminem's rap God, um, about, I listened to a part of it, um, or I listened to a little bit of it from that point that it was at. And then in, and it's around when he's talking about like lining up kids, um, from Colum- Columbine and like with an AK 47 or something. And that, that part kind of. Um, and then, so I listened to a little bit and then I like listened to it from the beginning. Um, and then next in the playlist is, uh, if I could by true life, he's a Christian rapper. It's something like that. If I could is, or something like that as a song title. 
um, and true life is the artist. And it's interesting because he says at one of his lines is like, um, because he's thinking of like, if he had all, I think it's kind of like the idea if he had all the time in the world, what he would do. Maybe that's maybe the kind of the sentiment or part of the sentiment. And one thing he says is like putting mute on many men from Eminem to this other person that I don't know, Benny Hen, or I maybe am not like, maybe I'm not <laughs> one. I don't think I know the, I might not know the person either way, but uh, I mean, I don't know that Benny Hen might not be what it is. I mean, you might even say probably isn't what it is, but it's just interesting because that's the song that I was just listening to before. And even though he sees things that way, like Eminem had like just reflecting or think of it, thinking of it in this moment, even though I thought about, I mean, I thought about his mentioning Eminem and I like thought a little bit about Eminem like this morning too, but like, but in this moment, like Eminem, like helped me in my depression days. Like, and I wasn't thinking about that aspect this morning, I don't think, but like, like Eminem was an angel for me, even though he's legitimately a demon for other people or like a bad thing for other people, potentially. Maybe. I mean, you have the option to listen to him. I, I Right. I mean, unless then again, people will be playing his music. So maybe I mean, and you know what? And actually the time there was one time that my I said, like, I like swore to my little brother, my youngest brother. Back in like maybe 2011 or something. And I was like, maybe I said, shut the f up, maybe. And that was probably because of listening to Eminem. <laughs> so, I mean, but like, but anyway, this morning I wouldn't have been th thinking about like depression, suicide stuff or whatever. I think just as far as like, like that's how true life sees it. But like, I don't know if I would have been thinking of like Eminem's like skillfulness or like, I mean, like, even though true life sees it a certain way, that's not everything. That maybe is kind of a, a way to say it, or I mean, maybe kind of does it justice saying it that way. Um, anyway, and then, and then, like, I think the next stuff was from this movie called Bell, which is a dope movie, and I reference it in my self converse times converse self rap. Um, which I didn't listen to. I didn't listen to self converse times converse self yesterday. Um, and I didn't listen. I don't know if I did the day before. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of like on and off with listening to it, I guess, but I did listen to it this morning. Um, on my way back. Um, or on my way from the day labor place to Salvation Army, maybe. I think. Or. Or was it from Salvation Art? Anyway, it was, I think it was from somewhere between the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I remember, like, I ran into that dude that, like, annoys me um, while I was listening to it. So that, that yeah, that was before Salvation Army. Um, anywho. Um, so... But uh, I listen. So I listened to. Uh, so after the True Life song, there was um, like two songs from Bell, and those are beautiful. I think the first one was a million miles or something like that, and then the next one was you, and that one was like, like Kylie McNeil, I think herself performing it like in a studio or something maybe. Um, but I wasn't like watching while I was playing. But I think. Like a million miles away, I don't think shows Kylie McNeil doing stuff, but like, I could be wrong. Maybe both of them show Kylie McNeil like playing guitar, like live or whatever, but I'm guess, my guess is a million miles wasn't live or whatever. And, but you, I think was played by Kylie McNeil, like in a studio or something. Um, and then after that, and those songs, I mean, Bell is a beautiful movie. Um, and the music in there is beautiful. And that's any, and this morning there may have been the, the thought crossing of like, cause if you, if you listen to a song outside of the movie, like, you know, you should almost like keep the, you should almost keep the songs like, like listening to the songs like during the, to like while you're watching the movie. So you don't like, 
I don't know, take away from stuff. Like that's just saying all that in my own words right now. But like earlier today, I would have had the thought of like, like the thought crossed my mind of like, like, should I be kind of like a, should I be listening to this kind of thing? Not in those words, but kind of something like that maybe. But, um, those songs are beautiful. And then, um, after that, I don't know. There might've been one other song, but I don't know. Um, oh, Eminem Godzilla. I think that was next. And I don't know if there's anything after that. Um, so I guess we start with Eminem and maybe end with Eminem besides that I listened to self converse times gone for self later that morning. But so there is this listening to music, um, you know, at the daily. Uh, so outside the day labor place ran into this dude that I normally uh, would see at labor masters. Um, and uh, and he's the one that like before the pizza box thing, he's the one that I, like had been talking to and like that had all these health problems. And apparently he's, he's made progress. Like he's lost, not that I would have known this from seeing him, but like, he's apparently lost. He told me it's lost. Like, I mean, he's lost a good amount of weight it's, it's since like April. Like it's, I think he said, so like just talk to him for a little bit. Um, you know, just going on my walk, um, like talk to him for a little bit and then going on my walk after that, um, run into this woman who like, the bus goes by her and she was like concerned and stuff. And then I like talked with her about it. And cause I think my guess is that it was a driver in training or something. Cause one of the dudes on the buses as it went by was like trying to communicate something, I think. So, um, I didn't stay with her the whole time while she waited for another bus. Um, and I like tried to ask like what, I don't know if I tried, I don't know if it was like trying to ask what time the bus normally comes. Um, but like, but anyway, like, so just, and then, so I, I ended up leaving like not too long. I like, I only stood with her for like maybe a minute or it, it was a short time, but like said bye to her. I, I maybe gave her a fist bump. I don't know. Um, asked what her name was. Um, and her name was Louisa. Um, and like went on my way. Um, And then started listening to self converse times converse self maybe at some point. Um, get to Salvation Army for the for breakfast. I went to Salvation Army today twice. Once for breakfast and then once for lunch, which is when that whole scene was going on. And they had actually closed the first the, the normal door, but when someone was exiting the back door, um, I went in and then they were still serving down there. And I got two of these like breakfast burrito things, whereas I doubt most, my guess is that other people weren't getting two of those big breakfast burritos or whatever. And I was maybe the last person to get, uh, no, maybe I wasn't the last person to get served. Maybe I was the last like non-staff person to get served, maybe. Um, And they were saying like, they were regard, like referring to me as like best for last or something. Um, So, um, but that morning, though, um, let's see. On the news, they're talking about how well Barbie and Oppenheimer are doing. So I might I might even try to see one of those today, potentially. Um, but between today or, or tomorrow, but I might try to see one of those today, potentially. Um, so that on the news. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's anything else like special from Salvation. I mean, the person that like annoys me was there and gave me one of, one of his co- gave me his cookie. Um, he had told me even when he was in line or that he was going to give me his cookie or like asked or something. Then he tried to take my he was going to take my tray too, but I didn't want him to do that. I didn't have him do that. Um, and then so outside of Salvation Army, like going to the library. Um, not detecting, let's see. Going to the library and man, there's more, I, okay. 
this morning wasn't that long. I should almost be there. I let me let me try to continue. I think. Um, so in the library, um, let's see. So I might miss stuff, but so, okay. At this point, we're just going to like maybe kind of jump around to what like sticks in memory or what like shows itself. So like on the computer, I talked about how like I was just like being productive. Or so I already had like even though I don't know if it fully came across, but like just walk wise and whatnot already like a good morning. And then I got on the computer and in my mind was thinking that like, because with that barefoot uh, membership or whatnot, that 21 day challenge, like that would be like this, like I might want to start that like today because it was 21 days. And if I want to try to finish that before the hundred days, that should start today, <laughs> I think, because today is like 79. Um, anyway, so I, so when I got on the computer, like in my mind, like I was potentially going to do like the barefoot membership thing or something. But uh, so I but I ended up like. Like, where did I. So not necessarily going in order, but like. At some point, I ended up at the MSUM page. So maybe I was going to go to emails and like I end up listening to that ad again about like unfollow the script and stuff like that. Um, unfollow expectations, unfollow the script, um, that kind of stuff. And then like I started like looking at programs in the MSUM, like start and eventually like got into a little mindset of like of like going to MSUM kind of thing, like kind of like starting school again kind of thing. I was looking at different like programs and stuff um, and that's and something off of like the looking at MSUM programs or like led to me looking up other stuff. So me getting to looking up social work was probably off of either directly seeing social work on MSUM programs or just but I ended up so there is looking at programs or something on MSUM stuff and then um and maybe it was graduate programs. Like, I don't know if I went beyond graduate programs. Um, but uh, so then on Google or whatever, I'm looking up like st just looking up stuff about social work. And then I'm looking up stuff about psychology, the degree that I already have. Um, you know, at some point it starts going to like how much such and such makes or whatever. Um, so maybe seeing I don't know if it would have been psychology might have been. But looking up how much someone makes. And like just looking up different stuff. So actually being intentional with the Internet, this huge thing, um, <laughs> instead of just like being used by it, even but even when you're being directed by it, it's not like, you know, there's there isn't like like even that 12 minute video that relates to that one day that I was talking that I mentioned in the video yesterday. That was me like when I finally got to like what happened that morning <laughs> after the uh the night of that God Amit video and whatnot, like even that 12, 12 minute video, maybe, or that Naruto video, um, like that was something that I didn't, that wasn't like me being intentional. I don't think like to some degree that was like internet directed, but, um, I would think, but like this morning, like I had intentionality or intention with the internet and stuff. Um, also in relation to like, mental morals in relation to like children and stuff like it's even to the point that like I could maybe like even start thinking of like like woman in relation to men like kind of like being mindful of men and you know I've thought I've thought about this maybe earlier today or yesterday but like I normally don't have like I think I thought about this today and and maybe yesterday too I don't know but but maybe, um, but like, I don't normally have like, like the kind of heart that I have for like, that I've had for children and probably still have to some degree. And like that I've had for women or have for earth, like that isn't the same way for men. Not that I, and, and not that I don't care about men or something, but there's this kind of like something that like I've experienced for children, for women, like, in fact, I probably even feel something for animals, maybe even more than I end up feeling for like men generally. Um, you know, occasionally there's been times that I've that I like have kissed a male um, friend on top of the head or like um, Jupiter's mom's boyfriend. Like when I got that 
call it when I got the Call of Beauty shirt that I'm wearing right now, um, with both their permission, or whatever, like gave him a kiss on the head. Like, not that kiss kissing on the head is the only like relevant thing, but like I don't feel stuff for men the same way. Kind of like with in regards to children, like I don't normally like. I mean, in recent years, like I or I don't know, maybe last year, maybe even from last year, like unless it's from this year, but like kind of having a appreciation of like a mother, like or what a child is to a mother or just kind of like that mother child thing, kind of. Um, but like, I don't normally like think about parents. So males and parents like don't normally like there isn't like this, the type of large heart that I have for like children, women, um, like I don't normally have for like males and like parents per se, but like, but like, it's kind of, it's like, so now I'm kind of seeing a side of this, like mental maneuvering where like, I get to like put stuff where I want kind of like, I know like, so like, if I see like a male husband, like <laughs> a male, a male husband, if I see like a husband and a wife walking, I can like give like have a certain mental morals of like how I, you know, cause it's not like, and also in relation to children with parents, I noticed maybe today that like, it might be too much with children. Like there's, you know, there's certain, um, like it, I think I can think more than like, I'm allowing myself or like I'm pulled it back too much, but like for your, for my mental, whatever to be like, like in reference, like the reference point is like the parent, like that's like a relevant, um, like maneuvering point or a relevant thing to be mindful of. Like if it's a parent and children to like, kind of have this like respect kind of, of the parent if they're, and then that I get to like, I can kind of like play it like today. I think it was that I'm like seeing like, you know, I could do that with like a husband and like wife, like, and I don't normally like, not that, I mean, in relation to woman, like I already have, I mean, you know, it's not like there's crazy, like the thing, I don't allow things in my head that I would imagine other people, because in your mind, you can be doing whatever, like who's going to stop you? Like if you don't have discipline or just mental morals or whatever, like you could be doing whatever in your mind, you could be full on thinking of having sex with a person's wife. You could be thinking of Dark, there's there is an accountability like what accountability is there for what's in your mind no one knows that except for except for like if you believe in god or some like besides you you know who knows so like me like i don't like if i start to think in certain direction in certain directions like i kind of shut i mean i think i would say that i shut stuff down quick like i don't like, even there's been, like, the thought of, like, um, re like, like, in the last week or two weeks or something, like, there's the thought of, like, Jupiter naked, which is, like, I mean, maybe that's happened before or something. Um, and in regards to Jupiter, like, there's certain stuff that's, like, kind of, like, just because, I think it's because of, like, the tension of this, because part of my stuff has to do with, like, sometimes of thinking what you're not supposed to think or um, just or some of my stuff has to do with like thinking what you're not supposed to think, I think. And like maybe a pressure felt because I've talked about like the pressure of like what the community thinks or something. So, so in relation to Jupiter, I've mentioned once before, like there, there is like, there is one night that I had to like, like, like kind of like fight thoughts or push thoughts or whatnot. Um, and then I was going to do a mission for that Jupiter thing that I just mentioned of like thinking of her naked or something, but like it's relevant to what I'm saying now and flows a certain way. But um, like, yeah, there could be all types of whatever going on in a person's head. And like, like what, what accountability is there? unless you have accountability to it. Cause even though you shouldn't necessarily 
hawk thoughts the way that I do, kind of. Um, thoughts can can end up like I don't know how big the wall is, but like th- thoughts can matter. Um, sometimes there's things that people think don't matter that I think do. Like when I like if I'm working somewhere. And then like when a customer or someone goes away and then people are like gossiping or like or if it's at the Y and people are like trash talking. I mean, unless it's too far to say that they're trash talking. But I think there is one kid that like maybe was referred to as like a devil unless I'm tripping, unless I'm tripping. But something said about a child that like is like that's not what we should be doing or that's not what should be. It might be that the child was referred to as like a devil or something. And I ran into that father um, like last week or so, like, and he talked about how he appreciated like how I was in relation to his daughter. And he has two kids. um, I mean, that I know of. And he talked about like maybe us getting together or something Um, like me, him and the daughter and. Um, yeah. Um, and I also talked to him about like giving him like next month, like maybe giving him like my, the first Jesusism section is what I was referring to, but I talked about giving that to him. Um, um, Let's see. So, and that's going to be a tricky thing with this band that I wear, like for Jupiter, like, like, it's just like, because of maybe because of community perceived, but I don't, anyway, is there's just trickiness with like, it just, and then even there's just with stuff, there's just potential trickiness, but this bond, like, this is a bond. So it'd be cool if maybe one day, and I, I've, I've thought about something like this, like in recent weeks or something, but it'd be cool if one day I could like, I don't know what happens after death for sure. Like the way that people paint heaven with their, like how they, you know, like, I don't know, heaven, hell, maybe just dead and that's it, whatever the case is. But if, if there's some type of aliveness after death, which there, and also even if there wasn't like that, God could like maybe communicate something if he wanted that like of like what she would have thought or something. And, and something as far as like people like that, I kind of like, you know, with that nocturnal person that used to like adore me him and his wife, and like now is the person like sharing the ju- the the justice report and this and that like so even though that was like hard that night one before that happened like i said i was in a because of like realizations during the video um the dark knight rises i was in a space of like above everything and done with everything or something like that but that took me out of that so that is one effect that maybe was good to, that i mean that maybe was good or, or with, and or with purpose or something. Also that night, or maybe the next day, there's the realizing of like, so as far as like, if I have this, uh, potential or potential pedophile YouTube channel, um, there's the idea of like, um, there's, you know, there's all these like kind of beginning or kind of foundational videos. And like, for one of those, it would be the idea of like, with, you could say the community that, that like that, that YouTube page could potentially have like having what that bond, like the, like forming a strong bond or something like that, because, and then like in reality, so there's a learning that maybe also is in relation to this, like the thing with this, uh, like past nocturnal coworker, um, that like with any bond. So this like make, makes me maybe feel better. I mean, 
maybe I'm not full. Maybe I'm not fully there yet, but it's like the idea of like, so because with all this stuff that's like about me, like, you know, in at some point in however many videos ago, I would think that I've talked about, I've, I've kind of remember, I think I, like, I think I may have said something like, what do I do? Do I like tell people or like, if there's this stuff going around me, like, do I need to tell people? Like, I've just kind of wondered on like, cause if there's this stuff going about me, going on about me or going around about me, like, do I need to tell people like, as far as current friends, not that I have like active, like regular bonds at this point, but like, do I need to tell people? Like I was just, I may have been wondering on something like that in a past video, but like all bonds have limits. Like even if Jupiter was alive, like, okay, so this happened. If she was alive, this would potentially be a cutting point, but there's always potential cutting points with people. Like even like if there's a wife that you have and you guys have like loved each other for whatever, like there's a certain experience that could be a limit that just never happened. Like limits are always a thing. So there's kind of like a learning about limits off of a reflection learning or whatever off of like the, the experience, the, this situation, or just like how this guy feels about me who used to feel like, so like, just was like a cheerleader before, like, like a little, like maybe not even just a little too, but I mean, it was at least a little too much or a little overwhelming or a little something at points or at a point or something. Um, but also I remember one point that I like was almost like thinking of him as like a dad or something. There's a, there's at least one phase or one something where in the past where there was kind of like something towards that. But, um, and I think I've also had some, like a moment or something of that with like Jupiter's mom's boyfriend, maybe. Um, but anyway, um, so, hopefully with that little 10 second light at the beginning of the video, it doesn't end up taking like crazy space or something. So I guess we'll see. So far, these like darkness videos have been helping keep the, like the GB really down or the space taken really down. But me putting 10 seconds of just straight up actual stuff, hopefully that doesn't do too much. Um... So, um, yeah. So with limits with people, it's like, that's a reality of every bond. So like, there's a way that like, I've maybe started to like feel more comfortable or like, there's like kind of a perspective now or like that maybe I'm not fully realizing, um, like maybe there's still more, I don't know, but like, there's the idea of like limits are a thing with any bond kind of like, so even if all these people are thinking whatever of me and like I'm talking to person K or something and like we're still cool or something like even in before this stuff, like people don't know everything about you, you know, like even if you're like, like, let's say like to just reflect on like more a certain way in this moment, like let's say you have a friend even a significant other in cases like, and they, they don't know everything about you. Like, you know, if it's a significant other and you guys have like, maybe you're married or like you've been together some, you know, there's incentive or there's like something towards staying together, but like a friend or something like, you know, things that could help against whatever hurtful factor or difficult factor is like how much effort you guys have put into each other. And, you know, maybe how helpful you've been, difficult times you've been through together, something. There's things that, like, give strength to the bond. But there's things about you that they don't know. <laughs> like, even besides this big chapter, like, if there are people that were to find out, like, this, that, or whatever from the past or something, maybe there's something that would make them feel some type of way. People don't see everything about you. They don't, like... I mean, there isn't a way for them to see your thoughts normally, but 
there's things that like, you know, perceptions, even fake perceptions that people could have about you that could lead a person to feel some type of way about you. So like, but limits are always a thing. It's just that they may not always be reached um, in your life or in your bond. And so to some degree, unless which destiny and like something can go into stuff like that. But in reality, all of your bonds could break. It's just that destiny or fate or whatever, like doesn't have that be the case is one potential. Um, Cause I think destiny, fate or like God or something like goes potentially goes into that stuff potentially. Um, so all bonds can be, could be broken. So like with marriage, make it a thing of like, we're not going to break. We're not going to, you commit. And also, I mean, that's kind of ideal for like the, if you guys end up having kids um, and then to a degree, it's almost like the Haribo lesson with, with like, if you do one relationship and it doesn't and you leave it, like what's to stop you from leaving the second one and the third one, like it, I mean, in a sense, it also makes you stronger and, and learned like a more learned partner in a way, like you are more wise or something, or it could make you more patient. It could make you appreciate something, but on another side of things, it makes you like less, like, like it's easier for you to like give up on a bond if you already have in a sense, I would think something like that. I mean, it wouldn't make you more likely to stick with the second person, would it? Um, okay. So, um, so, um, I maybe before, I wonder if before I even got on the computer at some point today, I don't know if it's, it might be before I even got on the computer. Maybe I'm not sure, but I went to the gas station. Like I kind of had a feeling to go to the gas station. Um, I think, I think there was kind of like a direction or a feel or something maybe. But, um, so I go to the gas station and like, so, and, and actually on my way to the gas station, like I realized that like my ticket was in like my binder, but then feeling wise, it still felt like I should go. Um, there's one aspect of like God stuff, assuming that it should be able to be counted as God stuff. Cause I don't know if, I don't know if he uses angels. I don't, I can't see. You know, I just know about this or I see things through a lens that interprets spiritual happenings as God. Like, I don't know how things happen, but like, even though, even when I realized that my lottery ticket was in my, um, was in my binder or whatever, it still felt like I should go. So I just went. Um, and then when I got in, I noticed this, like these, uh, like this like sticker thing. And, you know, I have a couple stickers on this mug. Um, you know, it says, in fact, I should maybe show it, but, uh, it says spoiler God wins. And I felt recently, like whenever I look at the cup for the most part, like I keep feeling like when I look at it, like it's always at the spoiler God wins, but then I've like thought more about like, maybe it's because my mind, like, like I've been kind of like uh, playing, kind of playing skeptic with that. Like may, you could almost say, like maybe my mind like takes, like to say it in my own words right now, like maybe my mind like takes special notice of like, or just pays attention when it's spoiler God wins, like something like maybe it's like mind stuff. I guess you could say, but. uh but so there's spoiler God wins on there. There's a plane and then there's like a, a deer. And this is the mug that I got from uh, that retirement um, party that was at that church, not too far from the engagement center. Um, even though I've even though I do a decent job generally <laughs> with um, sharing things that have happened, there's some th- stuff along the days um, in this in this uh, hundred days that like. I haven't mentioned like they just end up not like just thing like here and there. There's a few things. Um, 
like something from my fasting days that I haven't shared. Um, like something that I'd want to share in relation to at one point that I'd want to share in relation to, uh, that retirement party or that church experience. Um, and maybe it's cause they aren't supposed to be shared or maybe they'll come up later. I don't know. Um, but so, but yeah, so I ended up like looking at this like sticker thing and ended up picking out like three stickers. Um, and then, um, I ended up also buying like a nail cutter last night amongst the mosquitoes and struggling with the mosquitoes. Um, I had, um, like <laughs> gotten up from there, did a little insect fist and reflection, <laughs> um, like anyway, but like I, I was suspecting that of like, or, or concerned of like, maybe if I had an ingrown nail or something and I have a broken like nail cutter kind of thing, and maybe I have a normal one somewhere, I don't know. But, uh, but so today at the gas station, like there was one and I asked how much it was and apparently it was 99 cents. So I bought one. So I haven't used it, but yeah. Um, and then like, I got to the library and then I was like using the mug to like, I hadn't put the new stickers on it yet. I still haven't put the new stickers on yet, but I used the mug to like wash my hair. And then I felt like I should do it a second time. Like, so that, it, that it'd be, so that it like, I don't like maybe clean it out more. Or, like it I thought of doing it a second time. And I think that I, that potentially is God. Um, and like, so I put, so I put water over my hair like twice and then, saw the girl, um, that native American girl that like is a constant source of love or whatnot. Um, even though I still feel like a little resistance or a little something, maybe still off of that, like one night where she was getting on that one guy, I think like, and I also hung out with her last night too. She was having like love troubles and stuff. And, um, and there's another native American woman now that like, like just has this like loyalty of, or, or appreciation or something for me. And all I did in relation to this other woman is that like, there is one day, like maybe a couple weeks ago or so that like she was at, like she had her backpack stolen or something. And all I did was like, just ask like what, like trying to find like identifying things about the backpack, like in case, I don't know, in case like, or maybe I do know, <laughs> but like in case I like hypothetically run into it or something, like I didn't do much. Like I just, I just like, I don't know what else I did besides ask like detail, like trying to get details about the backpack. So that in case I ran into it kind of thing, but like, cause she was like kind of crying to herself, like maybe, like maybe she was crying, like kind of on the side of the thing. And like now, like multiple times like she's running like if we run into each other there's just this like appreciation of like me checking up on her and like is this like a thing with like native american women where like it just there's this like loyalty or like just like i i didn't like i didn't do much you know like with the first native american woman who like i hung out with last night or walked with um and then like ran into this morning after I washed my hair, like, you know, that first thing, even that, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, that was something, but like, she seems to th think of it as like that I saved her life. And she refers to me as her garden age guardian angel. And she like says that actually even Jupiter's mother had this like one person that she re referred to as like angel, I think. Um, but Jupiter's mother isn't native American, but hmm. But, um, um, I remember I kind of, I had like one little experience with said angel that Jupiter's mother, um, like the dude that Jupiter's mother calls angel, like at MSUM, I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if I would have given him money. Maybe not. I just... But maybe, I don't know. There's something at MSUM. Um, anyway. So, so I walked with her and 
And she was at that at the second time that I was out Salvation Army when there was the cop cars and the and all that. She was there too, and she was like really like earlier in the morning when I ran to her and I was walking with her, like she had it seemed like I think she had a tricky night taking care of veterans or something. Um and then like I think um and then like we just kinda I mean walked in just kind of like the length of the library maybe. Um and then like you know I'm I must have been in a good mood maybe and then I'm like the sun is the sun is out and I don't know if I said that it's out every day or something and then she was like what's gonna stop that motherfucker or some maybe maybe she said that or something like that. And then she said something about like pick and choose, but um I bet you lose or I don't know, something about pick and choose. And I didn't understand. So like I asked and then she meant like pick and choose like whatever soldiers and bet that they're not going to be able to do it. <laughs> and like, as far as like stopping the sun, I guess, or something. So after asking, I was able to understand kind of. Um, and then we, I mean, we said bye to each other and she was like, learn a lot or something. And then um, I went inside. Um, I don't know if I went upstairs first, but I ended up like looking around downstairs. Um, they have this like information board section that I don't normally look at, but I've looked at before. And I found something, I found like two things there that I took. Oh, and actually, actually I ran into those two things before I went to the gas station. Wait, how does that work? Okay. So but yeah, I went, I got, I looked at that information section before I went to the gas station. So that's before running to that Native American woman and all that stuff. So maybe when I like came back from the gas station, maybe I just went straight up to the computer. Um, but anyway, but at the time that I looked at the information section or whatnot, um, like I, uh, like I looked there and I found one thing that I don't know if I'll end up like trying to subscribe to or pay for today. But if if I don't know if you'd have to pay for it, but if you do, if there's a second level of uh, uh, buy this too, and uh, like, no, just if it, if there's pain involved, I think I, I think I might just pay for the first level. But anyway, um, so I might try to do something with that today and or the barefoot membership thing. And I might also go try to watch one of the movies. Um but, um, so, but at the time that I like looked at, was looking around at that downstairs information board and looking around like down in that area, kind of, um, there's also like where a place where like people can pick up books or something. So I like looked kind of around there, but then the children's library is there and I like kind of wanted to look in there some too, but felt like there's apprehensiveness without because children and stuff. But so like. I don't know if this would have been because at some point I was looking at the information board, which I just talked about. And so maybe I looked at that first to some degree and then try, looked a little in the children's library type of stuff. And then I don't I don't know. I guess I don't know for sure the order because there is information boards looking at stuff, which maybe was once and then maybe I came back to it later. There is children's library, like looking a little in it once and then coming back more later. And like, um, like I actually went into the children's library and, uh, was, and just kind of like looking around at stuff. Um, and they have this like donation place. Like there's four jars where you can donate something. Um, at one point I looked, um, back into the corner because to see if like, there's this Incredibles, um, cutouts that they used to have. It's not there unless they moved it somewhere else. But so I kind of looked in that direction. Um, it looks like they have like a separate librarian desk kind of, or like they have like a librarian there. Um, there's balloons that are up there, which I mean, that maybe could be because there's one like time that I like legitimately like went in there and then there's time before that where like I looked a little bit in and then there may be a third time at some point in the day or the morning or something where like I looked a little bit in and saw the balloons maybe or something or uh, and 
So there's like one main time, then two, like one or two, like little times. But, um, and then I was deciding whether to put something into the, for the YWCA or for animals. I put like a dollar into the YWCA and put coins into the animal thing. And then again, somewhere amongst all this, there is like this library book place that I've been in at some point in the past, I believe. I just kind of walked around in there, um, didn't see something. I mean, I didn't I didn't give things too much attention to that. Like I just kind of like walked around some. Um, and then there's a donation thing. So this was before I went in the children's library, like the actual like going in there. Um, but like I um, put like a dollar into there or something. Um, there were like four people, three or four people and a kid there. And I like, I don't know what I said. I don't know if I just said have a good day. I don't know what I said, but like one of them was like something said something about my smile, but that was before the children's uh, library thing. And there's one kid that like, like we like intersected with each other and I don't know what I said, um, but that's about the only children interaction that I think I had in there. Um, but later to today, um, like maybe it was on my way to Salvation Army, perhaps I saw this woman and kids and they were like walking behind me and I didn't like really interact. But I had noticed the woman's like ponytail and like scrunchie or something. Not that I thought of that word. It's just now I think that I'm thinking of the word scrunchie or whatever. But um, so like I, I don't think I said anything to them, but I was aware of them. Maybe like maybe felt a little uncomfortable in a way, but um, but I went to Salvation Army. So I think it's before Salvation Army that I ran to them. And I think it's after Salvation that I, Army that I ran to them again. And I was like, hey, I saw you guys earlier or something. And then I like complimented her hair and her scrunchie or, or whatnot. And then and then I maybe said, have a good day. I don't know. Um, but then when I was a, a bit away, I think I I may have like said back, keep shining or something. Um, but anyway. Um, and then there's another time in the library today that like going up the steps, there was a kid behind me and I was like, how's it going little man? And then he was like, um, it's not much or something. And I was like, and then maybe I said, have a good day or something, but, um, but yeah, there was stuff to discover in that children's library. Like I was apprehensive that first time that I like looked a little bit or something, but there's more stuff that I want. And so, but there's a time that I actually like went in there and then I saw this like donation thing that has like four jars or whatever. Um, and then even the first time that I like looked a little and didn't like actually like get into it more, like apparently the sidewalk story sidewalk thing that's here, there's another like park or something that apparently has a different story sidewalk. Um, so there was like a little, like there's stuff to like discover or learn like in the children's library, or, like for me having the courage to like venture or like look more and stuff um, with the information board thing. Um, one of the things, so I talked about how like today I might want to do the, uh, do something with the barefoot membership thing, but then there's also um, this, like this other thing, um, this other thing. So in level two, there's a point where, because, you know, Mind Valley has been my main like self-development thing this year, I think I would say. But there's also, you know, there's that one Tony Robbins thing. There is this one. Um, and then there are like a couple like just videos or, you know, maybe a couple or so videos that I watched. And um, one video was like this dude from a like, what is it? Fear Factory or something like that, like skater kind of dude ridiculousness that dude like he had this like he was being interviewed in this one video and I'd watched this probably in level two time and like the thing that I got a flyer for um in the information section downstairs or whatever even though it's not the same like program that he made or that he uses or something it reminds me of that um so and it says like the best social development on the on one of the flyers. The two flyers that I got are like related to each other, I think. But there's something about it being like the best self-development thing or best self-development platform or something. But like, um, but it's so it's like, you know, we're talking stickers and 
you know, like free flyers in the library and then stickers at the gas station. But like, this is actually like, like what I bought at the gas station for the stickers and the nail clipper are like, was like $8 and something, I think. And like, and early this morning between Eminem and Bell, like Eminem is like, you know, as strong in his way, like to say it in my own words at this point, like, but probably overlapping with like this morning. Cause this morning I thought of like Eminem as like, just like to say it in my own words now, but like idea from this morning though, is like, you know, Eminem like is strong in his way. And then that bell song is like strong in another way. And like, and like me, like the way that I was this morning with like stuff like that is, I mean, maybe it's just one way that I can be powerful or something, but that's something. Um, so like, yeah, instead of like, I mean, where possible, if not always, like it might be good to just have like, to just like let God, like not to be like, oh, I need to review these videos and I need to like give time wherever I can or like, like to just like see how like breathe with the day or however I said it in a pat one of these past couple of videos or so. Like, because th this morning you can't have, like, imagine if I would have filled that with what I think has to happen or whatever, like, and like that, that is special. And also, so, so two things of relevance now that I've kind of, is there anything else I need to paint with the amazing or the awesomeness or whatever this morning? Um, before I went to Salvation Army for lunch, um, I, oh, I lit, okay. So, um, there's a point this morning where like, I tried to get into heartfeltization and I couldn't. Um, and then I tried to like find ways to get into it. So this was around when I would have been like looking up, um, just all this stuff on the internet and stuff. Um, oh, so maybe when I started looking stuff up on the so maybe it was, it's potentially the case that it was after I came back from the gas station that I went on the computer. Um, so maybe I walked from Salvation Army to the library. Um, maybe I went, maybe the first thing, I don't know, maybe the first thing I did was like go to the gas station or one of the first things and then came back and then like, oh, so maybe I came into the library and then um, and then, um, like put my stuff down somewhere upstairs and then went downstairs and then have that whole information board, children's library, that older little library section, um, like bookstore thing, went to the gas station, came back and then went on the computer that might educated guests just kind of guess something could be wrong in there, but that might be the order. Um, but so when I was looking stuff up on the, com on the computer, um, at some point I like was trying to get into heartfeltization and I couldn't. And then like, even like, and so this is the lesson for me today. Like someone at Salvation Army and that second time, like I, like I got in through someone coming out the back door and me going in through that. Um, and like, I think I said the native American woman was there. Um, and what I didn't say at that time is that like, she had like blood on her hands or something and like, and she was crying and like, and so like I like wrapped around her and like, and the dude that annoys me was like there too. And he surprisingly didn't say anything. Um, but anywho, and also the dude that annoys me, like he, his talking annoys me and stuff, but one, I've even like mentioned that to him at one point. Um, if not more than one point maybe, but like, and actually it's set because in the past, in past weeks, like I've thought of like, if he was to like stop talking to me off of all this stuff, like that would potentially like be a like, like, which is, I mean, dang, but, but, um, so maybe there's people that you have to do more than just listen with to be able to have your equilibrium with them because I should be able to have equilibrium with him. 
but like not just by listening. Like I just can't he like that just isn't gonna work. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't think it can. Um anyway. And and he like like I said, he gave me a cookie and like it's just that he his talking or his talking pattern or style or just and 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 just keeps talking like he's I it's like so and if it's to the point that like it so with him like and if I actually did like draw and I kind of have tried to like kind of start like drawing like so I just have to get good potentially a potential path is like just to get good with like maybe being preemptive of like, if I know I'm starting to get annoyed because I've kind of put in my life, I've kind of put that on other people of like, how can people not tell that? Like, I don't want to keep talking or like, just like, it should be, I like, I feel like it should be readable on my face, but like, I might have to be the one that does something about that. But with what I think I was supposed to be doing from God is like to just listen. And like, so I've wanted to like give up at points at a point on that, but like, Cause there's some people, but so I guess we'll see, but I've felt like almost like at a point of like giving up kind of on the, like just straight up listening to people stuff like, but we'll see. But then like at one point when I was like feeling like giving up, there is one talk that was with someone who who can kind of, I mean, who, I guess, annoys me, but like, but then eventually he got to this thing about like this hurt that he had. You, he kind of got to this substance that was like hurt that essentially was like hurt that he had with his daughter or like, he like left on like this kind of interesting data point. So like, I mean, so that's something, but like, but like this dude that I'm, that I said, like, if you were to stop talking to me off of like my current reputation or this stuff, like, I mean, that would, I mean, like if it's to that point, then I mean, so if for, you know, for someone to be like a regular bond in your life, cause I see this dude all the time. Like I have to like be able to set my stuff or kind of like, I already know that he's going to know me. So be preemptive, which I've, and I've kind of tried to like at points, try to like cut stuff or I've even communicated at least once like, but so certain people you have to like someone who's like a lasting bond or like, not that that's something that I got from God. That's just maybe what it'll have to be. Cause unless I am just supposed to be like, listen to listening to him, but it's just, I can't, it's too much, but maybe I should just be trying to listen to him. I don't know, but there's some people that just keep talking like I, and but like the videos I make are long, but at least like, like if this was you just running into me, like I wouldn't just start talking there. The one woman that I think I've mentioned, there's one woman that like I know, but like just talked for like an hour and a half. Like I make videos that are long, but if you just run into me and we're just quiet, I'm not just I, I would think I would think that I'm not just going to keep talking. Like if I get philosophical, I can go on like a tangent spur or something. But like there's people that just keep talking. Like, anywho, um, so with computer stuff though, um, so when I couldn't get into heartfeltization, that's when I started getting it. Like I started to feel there was like a breaking of equilibrium. Like I was concerned or worried or something. And so I had had a beautiful morning, right? Like rich, beautiful, like just something. And that threatened to take that like energy or kind of, kind of did maybe like earlier in the day, like if I would have made a YouTube video, I would have been in this certain space. It's kind of like yesterday. Um, I don't know if I got, I maybe said this after it had stopped recording, but like yesterday, like I was about to make a video and I'm in a certain space and then something happens with someone. And then it like takes me out of that space because yesterday when I went to pee, like there's this dude, I don't think this was recorded in the end of yesterday's video, but like there's this dude and he like, I waved to who was apparently his baby mama. And like, I went to go like pee by a tree and apparently I didn't need to, but like, so then I like left from the tree and then he was walking towards me and he like got up in my face and I was like, 
like he like got close to me and like was talking to me and like I was scared like but I just like stayed there <laughs> but but then he like left and then like I went to him and like was trying to understand more um so I went by him and his apparently baby mama um and like you know he dapped it up with me at one point but like and then like he was talking about like how there are kids around and stuff but like and then yeah anyway there's other there's and then i'm also weird in that like so even after i went from talking to him like when I went and talked to him, like because he came into me and then I went to him. And then like even after that, I felt unsettled because um, like I had said that I pee by a certain tree and then there's another tree right by it. And I think I thought I'd said the wrong tree, essentially. And like that messed with me and felt like I had to like tell him that kind of thing. But then I went back to those trees later and I think I have peed at that tree before. So like that's just like that's how like I am with like details and stuff. It's kind of like with um, at day labor, um, I think I mentioned how like last week there's this one dude who uh, like I'd gotten in his car and like then he like drove me back and like I don't even know. Maybe he didn't even go to the gig or maybe he went himself or something, but he was he was weird. But um, like I, tr- I tried to like give the the staff like the rundown kind of of what happened um, and then. Also in that car, I heard this like beautiful song. Um, Put your hands in mine. <laughs> and when the sun don't shine. <laughs> Put your pretty little hand in mine. Something like that. But um, and I've heard that song before, but like I'd forgotten about it. And like, even though I didn't end up getting to go to this gig that I was going to go to with him, like I heard that song. And so sometimes sometimes in life, like. If you end up places that you didn't want to be, maybe like or that you or you don't get to go to places that you wanted to go, like maybe on the like part that you did experience, like you got something because I didn't get to go to that gig. And even in the weirdness with him, like I was trying to like just prioritize like money or something and just like not stir him up too much because he had a, a thing with like my hand being on his in that middle on top of that middle thing like between seats and then like i like he just he was weird um but um so i just tried to like just even though me being me like i want to like prior just or like say something more on the matter but like prioritizing money and just like you know just doing priorities and stuff just like left just like kind of left it um and I didn't say much more like that in regards to that one song. I was like, I maybe said, like, I like this song. And then like the that middle compartment thing, 